Hi, I'm Tom, I'm a health and nutrition coach for Think Nourished, and today in the Drew & Cole kitchen, we're gonna be cooking a delicious, tasty beef chili recipe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the uh, Clever Chef to saute and just leave that to heat up for a couple of minutes. So what I need to do is I need to press the menu button twice to select saute and then start, and then we're just gonna pop the lid open because we're gonna saute with the lid off. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna make up my chili seasoning mix. So first of all, I've got a tablespoon of cumin seeds, and I'm just gonna bash those up first in the pestle and mortar. Then gonna add in a tablespoon of garlic powder. If you've not got garlic powder, fresh garlic's absolutely fine. Then I've got a tablespoon of dried oregano. And then I've got two tablespoons of chili powder. Now this is quite a mild chili powder because I want to I cook this up for the family. But if you want a bit more heat, you can, you can find all kinds of chili powders in, in the supermarket. Right, so that's nice, nicely mixed up in the pestle and mortar, just ground into a fine paste there. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in my uh, beef. And I've got 500 grams of beef here. We should hear a nice sizzle when that hits the pan. There we go. And I want to brown this for sort of eight to 10 minutes or so because I want to get a really nice caramelization going on with the beef that will really add to the flavor of the chili. And I'll leave that just to sizzle away for a few minutes and then turn that a couple of times. Beef's now been going for about eight or nine minutes. And uh, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to add in some fresh garlic. And then I'm just going to chop that. It doesn't need to be super fine because we're cooking the beef chili for quite a long time. So I'm going to add that to the beef. So that's one clove. So next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to put in three tablespoons of the spice seasoning mix. I've got one, two, three. I'm going to stir that round and just, just leave that cooking away for a couple of minutes just so those spices just, to, just start to toast up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do uh, is I've got some chipotle chili puree here. If you don't have chipotle, it's quite easy to find in, 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 in the shops nowadays, but smoked paprika would give you the same smoky effect that we're looking for. So two teaspoons, one, two, and then give that a stir around just so it nicely coats the beef. Next in, I've got about a tablespoon of tomato puree. So the next thing in, I've got a red pepper here. What we do with the red pepper is we just cut down the lines here, makes it really easy. Just going to chop it into small bite sized chunks. So I'm going to throw the pepper in. Nice stir around. So I'm now going to add in a tin of uh, tomatoes. So I've then got a couple of tins of kidney beans. Then I've got 250 mils of beef stock. You could use water or even some red wine in there as well, but I've got beef stock here. Give it a stir, and then finally, just a little pinch of salt. So I've got some sea salt here. Grab a pinch, and then just crush it and sprinkle in. So I've got all my ingredients in the pot now, uh, ready to start the slow cook. I've canceled out of saute mode. So I'm gonna close the lid. I'm then going to use the menu button to select slow cook, low. The default on this is three hours, which will give us a fantastic result. If you want to cook for longer, you'll get an even more complex and tasty chili if you've got time to cook overnight or throughout the day. So I've selected slow cook low and then press start. My long slow cook is on. So the chili's been going two hours 59 now. It's nearly ready. Just waiting for it to bleep. It's one minute left. There we go. So I'm going to pop the lid open. I'm then going to add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which, which will just give it a little bit of acidity and just lift the chili a tiny bit. So that's in, give it a stir around. So we're all ready to serve up the beef chili. I'm gonna serve that with brown basmati rice. Now brown basmati rice, a bit like the white, white rice, but it's got the bran and the germ intact, which means it's a lot higher in fiber and it's a lot higher in vitamins and minerals as well. So I'm gonna serve two or three spoonfuls of the brown rice. And then here's my wonderful chili. It's delicious and it's just so smoky with that chipotle. And then on top of that, I've got some grated cheddar cheese. Pop a little bit of that on. Put on some chopped spring onions. 
and then sprinkle some chopped coriander on top as well. And then finally, I've just got a little bit of sour cream that we're just gonna pop on the side. So there we are, beef chili and brown basmati rice ready to eat, yummy.